Why did the Normans, even by today's liberal standards, have such odd haircuts? If you dig through the annals of history, you'll find that fashion is one of the most capricious and peculiar things about humans. It swings wildly from decade to decade, and the Normans were no different in their times. During the 11th century, one hallmark of Norman fashion, particularly among the warriors, was a rather unique-looking haircut. These guys had their hair shaved clean off at the back of the head, while the front part was left long and often fell down to the eyes. It sounds a bit like some punk rock movement from the 80s, and let's be honest, it was a small act of rebellion in its own feudal way. There are a couple of practical theories behind this. For starters, wearing a helmet during battle could get blistering hot, especially with a full head of hair. This extreme undercut would allow for a bit more ventilation. It's the medieval equivalent of wearing a tank top on a hot Portland day, just trying to beat the heat. Secondly, this distinctive style set the Normans apart from the Anglo-Saxons, whom they were trying to conquer. The visual distinction in haircuts made it easier to determine friend from foe on the battlefield in the long and rough tumble of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Think of it as a uniform, or colors that gang members might wear to represent their allegiances, except with more blood and less drive-bys. The Normans were also trying to carve out an identity, a blend of Viking roots and a new Norman sophistication. Their fashion choices, including their hairstyles, were a statement of that cultural identity, a way to say, we're not like those other guys, we're something new. Lastly, there's always the chance that some influential Norman had this haircut, started a trend, and it became the rage. Maybe it was the just-got-off-my-longship look that was popular among the Norman elite. Fast-forwarding all those centuries to today's liberal standards of haircuts, really what we're seeing is the same thing, identity and cultural representation. You've got your hipsters in the coffee shops of Portland rocking the I definitely don't have a 9 to 5 inches appearance, and on the other side of the spectrum, you've got the slicked back, I may own a yacht Wall Street look. In the end, the Norman's unique hairstyle was just another blip in the ever-changing world of fashion, a response to their environment, a mark of their identity, and perhaps a bit of old world swagger we can all appreciate from the comfort of our 21 saint century lives. So next time you're walking down the streets of Portland and you see someone with a haircut that should probably come with its own instruction manual, remember the Normans. They started this trend of odd haircuts. And if you're considering a Norman cut for your next bold move, just be prepared to explain to everyone that it's not just a haircut, it's history.